Today we are bringing back an old threat. What's up guys? We got Pogame here. We're going to be using Life Orb Heatran in the Gen 4 OU because I'm in that Gen 4 mood. The nostalgia is definitely picking up. We have Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Remix coming out in a little bit over a month and I just kind of can't wait to play, you know? And I, assuming I can actually Wi-Fi battle the way I want to. It's not the team we're using, though that is a fun team. Uh, that, well, I, that team I use on Patreon. Assuming we can actually Wi-Fi battle the way I want to, I think it's going to be a great time. All right, we're just coming full circle. So we're going to be using this Life Orb Heatran team by BKC. Guys, if you plan on picking up the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Remix, or Legends of Arceus, you might as well get them through Best Buy through my link because you do support me, of course, if you are in the US. Uh, so if you actually click any of my links down below and buy anything, not just those games, but if you buy anything from those links, you are supporting me on the channel. It goes a long way and it actually helps me out in future deals as well. And uh, I'm, ex again, I'm excited just to play. Like, and yeah, I mean, if you're going to get something, I appreciate you helping me out. And those who have already much love and to those that are, you know, not in the US because it is US based. Uh, for those that are not in the US and that still want to try and get it, I'm going to talk to people. I've been talking, I'm in talk, I'm in the works, trying to get things in Canada and stuff done. But Oxy Lead could be Rain, could be Thunder Wave, Choice Scarf. I'm still going to click Stealth Rock no matter what, as they more than likely are Scarf. They don't have to be though. But I got a U turn here, which is nice. Uh, they may Thunder Wave me. If they're not Scarf, they just may be max speed. And they are a Rain Dance team. So. Uh, Rain Dance could mean Quillfish. I am still going to get up a T Spike here just in case it's not Quillfish. On this build. Bronzong, Kingdra, Ludicolo are all Pokemon that can come out. With T-Spike up though, Protect Jirachi plus Rose Raid are just insane versus this. So uh, it doesn't matter if I go down. A, a lot of there's not a lot of hazard control that fits on rain either, unless they're running like offensive star me. So we're gonna get up uh another a spike here just in case. I like one layer of T-Spike versus offensive builds because Pokemon don't stay in too too much. And as you can see, we get all that damage. So that's beautiful. Are you physically based? Because Hydro Pump isn't going to knock me out. Ah, uh, Life Orb. Right? Yep, should be. So, I'm going to bring a Jirachi and click Protect here. Again, they do have potentially a Ludicolo, but I have a Specs Latios. A Latios, excuse me. I'll go over the team real quick while we're actually... <laughs> Or we're actually doing this because I forgot to do that. Or I'll do it after the uh, after this battle itself. But yep. Ooh, there's Surf, which means I can actually beat them via. Oh, and the fact that they did that is actually even better for me because I can beat them via this plus Protect. So it doesn't matter if they switch or do whatever they want to do. Uh, not only do they only have one turn of rain left after this, but we ended up knocking out the Kingdra. And this is why hazards are just so 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 deadly versus rain they are so deadly versus rain yeah we do have a life orb heat right on this build and it's not uh it's not looking the strongest in this game though so this is probably damp rock i'll bring out rotom here on maybe earthquake as they go for hypnosis and unfortunately miss we're gonna trick the reason i'm tricking bronzong is because i don't want it like gyro balling or doing anything uh they definitely don't have a tyranitar in this type of build either and if they want to go for rain that's fine too as uh, nothing on their team like shadow ball <laughs> now they're locked in uh, they bring out Uxie, and I just go for damage versus that. They bring out Kabutops. I'm not actually, I'm not actually weak to water because I am, uh, I am on, I am pure ghost. I'm electric ghost, excuse me. So, yeah, that's basically it right there. That's what I thought was gonna happen at that point. Hazard is just too much. If you're not running Quillfish on this build, like they probably had Ludicolo in the back, and then like some random mon like a dragon could work too. But yeah, if you're not running uh, Quillfish on that build. T-Spike just messed you up. But yeah, let's look at the team real quick as well before we find another game. Well, ours we're looking. We have Stealth Rock, Protect, Jirachi. Um, again, this is a BKC build, so these EVs could be for anything. This could be like for the level 99 HP Fire Specs Rose Raid, and Kevin would have calced it. But Stealth Rock, U-Turn, Protect. Uh, double Hazard, love this type of Rose Raid. Takes on Gengar, takes on Rotom as well with the Spadef EVs. Uh, Specs, Latias, big fan of this set too. Just Draco and Surf is really all you need. Life Orb, Explodes, and Heatran. We got the HP Grass for the Starmies and Swamperts, as well as the Suicunes. Choice Scarf Rotom helping us out versus Boosted Dragonites, which is why we have HP Ice. And then we have Calm Mind Offensive Suicune, my favorite Pokemon, and one of my favorite sets for it. Not, not my favorite overall set. Why is my dog crawling all over my boxes? But definitely one of my favorite sets. But yeah, we'll pause it until we find another one. 
And uh, yeah, you guys can get this team on website, pogame.com. Gonna be real, yeah, Mega is not something I like to see as a lead, especially if it's Specs Tinted Lens. Hypnosis makes it a little bit easier because they're probably Life Orb or they could be Focus Sash, which means they won't be doing too much damage. Uh, yeah, that's that's Focus Sash, but they do have Hidden Power, Ground, or Fire. They, this Mon is a threat, bro. This Mon is a threat. I'm just trying to go for rocks. That way I, I don't have to deal with this thing later because I feel like when I see a yeah, Mega as a lead, I'm gonna see Electivire, I'm gonna see Dustnor, I'm gonna see things like that. So, gonna go for U-turn here. Attempting to Puka, you need to get off of my boxes. Thank you. Uh, gonna go for U-turn there. Attempting to break its sash as we dodge a hypnosis. Um, sixty percent accurate. I'll still go for Thunderbolt either way, even though Electivire probably coming out after. Good. I'll take that. That's honestly, if that had been Specs Tinted Lens. That would have been way more scary. I'm going to bring you up so you can lie on my lap. Because she's sitting on my clothes and boxes. Uh, so, Gengar comes out. Could be Scarfgar. We're going to go Rose Ray, which can take on Shadow Balls from Scarfgar for days. Beautiful. And it's not even Scarf, so we know that we can revenge kill it later. Awesome. Uh, we're going to use Spikes because it's... Oh, 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 I see you, fail. I see you. So, the reason I was using Spikes is because it can wear down threats for my Latias in the back. And unfortunately, the Gengar hit me with the Taunt into spadef drop combo all right make the heat ram play here and i'm gonna double out into rotom they're either taunt me or focus blast i don't think they've clicked shadow ball again steel does resist ghosts in this game so yeah nice and if you guys didn't know also rotom is electric and ghost so you should know i'm choice well actually you have no way of knowing i'm choice card right because your mom was faster i have a pout on why i feel like this stuff happens a lot I know it's a little bit risky to bring out... Actually, it's very risky to bring out Rose Raid. I'd rather go Suicune, because they could Ice Fang, and then Rose Raid could go down. As they yawn. I'll bring out uh, Rose Raid here. I'm going to, once again, attempt to get up Hazards. Suicune can easily beat... Uh, it beats Gengar plus one with Sand Up. It beats Hippowdon. I'm not worried about that mon either. And I just want Spikes, because the more Spikes up, the more offensive Heat, uh, heat Rank can do things, and the more the offensive Suicune can do things too, so... We'll play. We're going to click the Hydro Pump right now. If this is physically defensive, it might actually just end up dying. I lied. All right, time to go Latias. This is going to be very annoying, bro. It feels like I'm playing Battle Spot or Battle Stadium singles. The good thing is, though, this is a Specs Lottie, and we're going to click Surf right now. They yawn there. doesn't matter. I just bring out Suicune, and then I hit it back with a Hydro Pump after. I'll go back and forth forever until I get fed up and I end up tricking them. Um, this is really nice too because Gyarados is not a threat to me. In fact, I can actually go for comp HP Electric isn't going to KO them in one. Um, they end up going for Waterfall for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. I already stood Hydro Pump so you should think I have HP Electric. But yeah, HP Electric KOs them now. So that's beautiful. Gengar cannot KO me. I most likely knock out the... Uh, the well, I definitely knock out a Pout on, especially because they haven't healed. And with Spikes up, I believe I actually pick up the KO on Machamp too. Oh, it's so close. Just barely missed out on that KO. But things are looking really good for a Shadow Ball sweep. The leftovers. Yeah, Shadow Ball is looking hella good. Just click the Ice Beam here. I do have Healing Wish to bring this thing back. But I think it'll be okay. I don't like switching around versus a Machamp. Machamp can throw off rogue attacks and just win. Yeah, it can throw off like rogue, like paybacks and uh, and anything like that. Uh, Gengar actually cannot KO me with Shadow Ball. But Thunderbolt is something it could. <laughs> Even if they have... I guess worst case would be like a Dragon and Tyranitar, but no, that's that's possible too, because I just trick it into Crunch and then Heat Train Resist, so. Go for Shadow Ball here, knock out Gengar, no Cursed Body, because it's obviously Levitate in this generation. If Padon dies, I have no idea what their last Pokemon are, or is, rather. And at this point, I'm feeling like Jirachi is losing to everything they have. Flash Cannon. <laughs> in this climate? What? <laughs> Pooh got quiet, it's okay. It's okay, she heard the door. Quiet, it's okay, baby. Uh, and we'll just surf just to win. Yeah, Flash Cannon is not something you see in DVP on Heatran at all. The rarest move you'll see out of like random moves you'll see is like Dragon Pulse randomly. And only Specs might run that. Uh, if it's running Hidden Power Grass, so it doesn't have to run Hidden Power Ice. But even then, like I think you still like Explosion uh, on Specs too. And you want Double Fire, move Earth Power. But 
and your hidden power. So I feel like it's like, eh. But yeah, we'll pause until we find another game, guys. I'll be about to see a build with Jirachi Lee, which means Heatran is going to go in. Uh, I don't care about them going for Thunder Wave turn one, especially because it just gives me a nice, come on. Dude. Okay, that I care about. <laughs> that I care about. But at least I get a Heatran right now. We're going to go right for the Life Form Fire Blast, especially if they're crazy and click Thunder Wave again. Uh, them going their own Heatran doesn't matter so much. Especially because they're leftovers, which means that my life orb earth power, yeah, that's the power of life orb. Even if you were special defensive, baby, that, I told you. Ooh, hello, my child. Um, I like the idea of going Lottie here, and I'm actually going to uh, trick immediately. Them going for Ice Beam is, again, things like that don't matter. Like, it's actually better for me that I gave them uh, the, the specs, so they're not... I'm not locked in, excuse me. So, bring out Jirachi here as Machamp comes in. My dude's name is I piss in the shower, I just realized that. So this is a little bit scary, mainly because it can easily go for sub and dynamic punch and mess me up with that. But I'm obviously going to try and break through it if I can. Uh, I knock them out with, with Life Orb Fire Blast, so I'm going to bring it out and just go for it. Like it. I don't think it's a roll, I think it just straight up KOs. I wish I had overheat. But now I can get up T-Spike as well after. This should kill. Yep. See, guys, this is the power of the life orb, man. Y'all sleep. Don't sleep. Don't sleep, guys. Do not sleep. Wake up. Anyway, bring our Rose right here. I'm going to get up a T-Spike. I don't think, because their team is para support, I doubt they have a Rose right of their own. So what I can do is I can get up my T-Spike to wear down that Pokemon right there. I am Poison Point, so I would like to not be paralyzed on my Heatran. So I'll bring you out. Gonna double the Heatran now. If they do go for the para, they didn't. I click Fire Blast again. If it lands, I pick up another KO. If Suicune comes out, I'm helping myself out. Let's see. Ah, unfortunate there. Would have been one dead Jirachi, which is gonna be a, a pain to deal with this game. I know that for sure. But look how much damage my guy is doing. Look how much damage my guy is doing. They do go for a nice little Ice Beam there. Good play, good play. I'll rather let myself go down. And we're going to bring out uh, Rotom here. Being Scarf, I feel confident bringing it out. Uh, though they could actually bring out... I'm going to go Suicune because they could bring out... Yeah, they could bring out like this or like a Tyranitar or something. Obviously Thunderbolt is annoying. But now I get to go for a nice little Shadow Ball. Picking off this. Beautiful. I would gladly take that crit because Jirachi should be dead. Jirachi should hella be dead. So I don't care if that crit matter. Jirachi should be dead and I wouldn't have to worry about that. They hid the replay of it. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Yo, sorry buddy. You saw what Heatran did though. I'll pause it guys and be right back. Dragonite's never something you want to see as a lead. Um... Earthquake, Outrage, Fire Blast. I'm going to go Suicune on it. That's typically the play here. As I go right for a Fire Blast, I'm assuming they're Life Orb based on that damage. Nice. Uh, I'm going to go for a Safe Ice Beam and not Predict. Even if they U-turn out into Dragonite this turn or go for Thunder. A little bit unfortunate they, para uh, they landed and paralyzed me, but I mean, that's 60%. But I want Rocks up as well because it, this looks like the type of game, if this is their steal, and they most likely have like a Tyranitar or something in the back, I want to be able to uh, pressure them with Specs Latias. So I should be able to get a U-turn off here. Maybe. I kind of wish, I always wish this thing had Thunder Wave over Protect, but Protect is so useful a lot of the time. Nice. So we bring back in Suicune. Uh, if they go Jirachi, who cares? I'm always clicking Ice Beam here. I don't have to predict. Not from this position. The more we, one more time, Dragonite comes in and dies to life or fire blast. So like, Heatran is gonna have a field day. We want to get rid of their water resist as much as possible. And uh, yeah, just open this up. This is usually Draco. Could also have a life orb outright. I love life orb Dragonite lead. Like Dragonite is such a cool lead too. I, I think Empoleon and Metagross are the best leads because I think they can beat every other lead. But Dragonite's so cool, easily. Easily one of the cool elites. Though I don't like shiny Dragonite. I'll be honest about that. So we take their Dragonite from them. Maybe Jirachi comes back out. 
But again, every bit of stealth rock chip, like it's already two a kill by Spec Surf now. And Draco might even do a good chunk after hazards. So you may bring out your own water type, maybe your Starmie to try and rapid spin on me, which is odd because I can get up my rocks and my guys, like my my Pokemon are technically healthier than theirs. They have one dead and one above 91, so. Uh, Jirachi is also one of those mons that can just straight up lose to Suicune if, if I'm boosted enough or if they miss Thunder. So there's the Jirachi again. One more time, we bring out my own. And we're, gonna, we're trying to get a safe U-turn out into Heatran. This time, rather. If they double, good play. I don't think this is more of a para support team. This guy has the no guard, though. <laughs> There's hidden power ground, so now I know I can't go Heatran safely. Gonna bring out you and just click Surf. While this does invite in a Tyranitar after. Ah, great. Awesome, I was blessed. While this does invite in Tyranitar after, this is okay. Good focus punch there. Safe hit and power fire. Knocks out Jirachi, knocks out Breloom. I can get a spike after if necessary. So Jirachi should go down here. Maybe they're Aka, but I think it still dies. I think it still dies. Yep. Perfect. Awesome. So they go down. Ooh, nice. Hopefully, uh... I already got rid of the dragon. Probably have another steel. This is DVP after all. They definitely have a bulky water. I just want Stealth Rock up, man. I mean, Spike's up. Because if Spike's are up, then Breloom is guaranteed. After Poison, it's 2 a KO'd. So, it's looking good for me. My wife just telling me she got me like a sleeping body cream and like some oil for my hair or whatever. There's Tyranitar. Ah, oh, you threat. You will definitely be energy balled, my friend. To kill me with crunch after I have to let it, unfortunately. I can revenge this thing with Suicune though. Suicune should naturally be able to live the hit. It's gonna do a lot, but I will be able to live it and then Oh okay, they didn't stone edge. And we landed. Nice. Alright, so we get rid of Tyranitar 2. Awesome. Beautiful. I'm assuming. Oh, this is this is hella offensive, bro. This is hella offensive, bro. You definitely have like a Bronzong then. You have to. You're way too weak to Flygon. Mock Punch, I don't think even knocks me out. Yep. So I will gladly pick up that 2 and KO. Let's go. Lottie is obviously also an option for my opponent, but it looks like we're getting closer and closer. I tricked them a choice specs here. As I go for Ice Fang, I bring out Heatran now. Throw off an Hidden Power Grass and 2 a KO them. And then I get to boom on whatever comes in. And assuming that last is a Lottie that goes for Surf or a Metagross, all I gotta do is go for a safe Earth Power. Even if they're Shooka, that doesn't matter. And I just tricked them to lock them into Meteor Mash. Which means Metagross wins. Uh, which means Heatran wins. I'm not going to risk Fire Blast there. It's just better to get off damage. And it looks like... Uh, well, lock them into whatever attack they go for. It looks like Thunderbolt would have KO'd anyway. Did not expect that to actually KO there. So, nice. That was a fun one. That was a really fun one. I will pause it. We'll be right back. Another game. <sighs> I hate my champ leads. But you're always forced to click that versus them. As long as rocks are up, Heatran is going to be really nice. So, I don't mind even getting paralyzed here. As I can get up rocks to break the potential Sash. Usually our Sash, but the potential Sash on... There, my champ, and it looks like I'm slower because of my min speed IV, so that's awesome because I can go for U turn now. Hey, dude, relax, <laughs> relax, <laughs> relax, please. <laughs> just, just relax, thank you. And again, he trend being in just gets a click, it's life orb attack. Every time I get paralyzed by Jirachi, I always get full parrot, but I'm glad that wasn't the case there. We're gonna click Life or Fire Blast. Some Jirachis are crazy and like to stay in because they can live one hit and bank off Paralysis. I don't know much about my opponent, but if I KO Jirachi, obviously we already know that opens up a lot of my members on the team. That did so much damage. That honestly did so much damage. 
Like that, that an insane amount of damage. So, we'll bring out Suicune now. We know that that's an offensive Gyarados. And what I'm going to do here is... There's one of two things. I'm actually just going to combine immediately. Main reason I'm combining immediately is because if they go Jirachi or Machamp, I want to be able to do damage. I want to get the 1-up on them. And... Or I want to potentially be able to get the 1-up on them. Because this is offensive Suicune. Because there he's got leftovers before me, so that's more than likely offensive. Let me go Lottie there, and I'm going to trick them with choice specs. I will die, but then I have Jirachi as a pivot, so it's okay. Like, I am definitely going to die here. Oh, that is incredible. Awesome, awesome. Like, legit, legitimately great. Uh, because soon I can get up T-Spike. They may even, like, I don't even know what they do here, because they're locked in a body slam, right? I want to get up T-Spike. With my mud. Oh, you want to come up? Puka? No problem. Here, come here. Sorry, buddy. Did not see you. I thought you were sleeping on the floor. Ooh, and that, my friends, is in range of Life Orb Fire Blast. We know this already. We know this already. So that's perfect. Come on, man. Really? I get a lower roll, which is a little bit frustrating. But uh, what I'm going to do here is actually go for a T-Spike because I'm very weak to Suicune. I'm very, very weak to Suicune. So I don't mind them bullet punching. This is like best case scenario for me. That's best case scenario. So I get Suicune weakened and I end up with some decent HP on top of that. So Jirachi more than likely comes out. I have my own. Uh, we can also go for Spike because one way we're going to win this game I think is going to be Thunderbolt spam. Like, you can see how good that is versus our opponent. Just clicking Thunderbolt. Yes, I'll always just click U-turn here. Them being locked in is so great. And obviously, we can take some of their Iron Heads as well. Man, that Machamp was like max HP, bro. Yeah, we can take some of their Iron Heads, which is nice. I can always get in Suicune. As long as I'm able to Combine up, I'm good. And them being locked into that means that my Suicune mess, uh, sets up on them. So basically, with me having that T-Spike up, I can beat their Suicune 1v1. Alright, I want to I get the, the slow U-turn, but I'm most likely not going to get it. So I'm just going to Combine here. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Like, I'm taking their I'm taking their iron heads with pressure. I'm most likely faster than them. Gengar comes out. Explosion or Shadow Ball. I would rather this not be exploded on. They do go for Life of Shadow Ball, so I kind of made the wrong call there. Unfortunately. Just go for a spike. If they sub, it's bad for me. Let me just HP fire just to be safe. Yeah, so you can bring out Rotom here. Like Thunderbolt. Ah, that really sucks, man. That I made the wrong call. Because if, if I would have known they were only going to go for Shadow Ball, I would have... Uh, I would have just stayed in. Click Hydro. Because what I don't want to happen is I limit, I'm limit. i limiting too much of my tools to beat their their team. Oh, never mind. They just went hard Jirachi right here for whatever reason. So, Cool. That's what I was fearing this Pokemon. This is Scarf. They go for Scarf Earthquake, which means I get to bring out my leftovers Latias. <laughs> I'm gonna go for another Thunderbolt though first, just because I don't lose much. They have less Earthquakes than me, so they have to switch before I do it. And I only need, like they have 14 Earthquakes, I, oh, I don't need that many of these Thunderbolts to win, so I'm gonna stay in forever. Because it's basically a kill after kill. Like, they're going to give me a Pokemon here. Yeah, so go ahead and give me that Jirachi. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thunderbolt KOs these guys, so I don't have to worry about that. Well, it doesn't KO Suicune, but it KOs Gengar and it KOs Gyarados. So there's Scarf Flag on. They do Outrage. And get a crit, which is a little bit unfortunate because I wouldn't have died to one. But this guy lives. Yep. 
Just barely, but you do. <laughs> Thank you, my child. Ugh, rocks come before Healing Wish in this game, which is annoying. So Gengar gets to come out safely. Oh man, that crit's annoying, man. That doesn't account. That doesn't kill Rotom, and I think I even live rocks after. I'm gonna Draco here. Ah, that crit was very annoying, man. That crit was annoying. I, I'm gonna calculate on Rotom though, but I'm fairly confident it doesn't die from that percentage. And let me see this. Uh, Rotom, it doesn't matter which one I am, man. It's just Rotom, just offensive. Why is offensive not an answer? Why is offensive not here? Okay. Yeah, it does 63 to 75, and uh, I was at 88. <laughs> so I can even live it with Stealth Rock and then Thunderbolt later. So basically, I, I just saw what they locked themselves into. I go Jirachi after, and then I can beat them with Suicune. Or Jirachi just... Picks up a KO. Like, I, I would at least have another sack, which makes it different. All I need is Jirachi plus Suicune plus Rotom to win. Right? That's that's the combo, but yeah. Such is life. All right, we're going to pause it, guys. We'll get another game. We'll be right back. Azelf lead. We're going to U-turn immediately on their taunt. And uh, the sucky part is, if I go Rotom now, I click Thunderbolt. I kill them, but this Azelfs are almost always with Tyranitar. So I'm just going to double right back on a Jirachi, even if they stay in and click Stealth Rock without caring. Actually, let me click Stealth Rock now. Like, that's always the play. Like, that, that the reason why I made the play I made right here is because... I can lose to that Mon. And I have to go sweep him. I can lose to Tyranitar, right? Whereas Rotom is a check to Dragonite at plus one. Is a check to this. What the hell? Why would you reveal your banded E-Speed already? I don't know why they click E-Speed there. I don't know what's going on, but Dragonite dies, so we're good. All right, so that's a giant threat gone. I don't, I don't know why they clicked E-Speed there. <laughs> I don't know why they revealed they were banned at E-Speed. Maybe because they have an Inferno. My opponent likes to only knock me out with priority moves. We're just going to go for Surf. It knocks out Azelf. This Mon is a threat, but with Stealth Rock damage, and if they do have a Tyranitar, Stealth Rock plus Sand... Puts it in range of Thunderbolt from my Rotom. And at least Specs Latias lets me open up. Um, lets me open up for Scarf Rotom. Hmm. I'm gonna go U. We're gonna double into Latias here. I shouldn't die in one to plus one Ice Beam, even if it's Stealth Rock. Oh god. <laughs> In DPV? Really? Okay. I'm pretty sure my oh I don't have mine anymore, but I was pretty sure I could beat it one v one, but they only have seven hydros. That's really unfortunate. Uh this mod is annoying. I don't know what its other or uh, all of its moves are, but I'm gonna get a T spike first. And then we're going to click Energy Ball here. T-Spike, just in case this, I actually force this thing out. Yeah, so... I'm going to go for a Spike here as well. Bro, Subcom my Hydro Pump Hidden Power Electric. That's a wild set, bro. That's a wild set. You know what, though? It's winning them the game, so what can I say? Ooh, actually, I'm doing a lot, bro. I'm doing... Hold on, I'm doing some big damage. Let's get some big damage. I'm, the reason I'm saying in DBP is because sand is infinite, you know? So... For my opponent to do this is just wild to me. Okay, so I cannot kill them. They have three hydros left. If I trick, it's one. I protect with Jirachi, then I Iron Head, then I protect, then I U-turn. No, I'd rather Draco into Thunderbolt. Oh, they went for sub, so cool. I got best case scenario. Yeah, my Lottie's most likely going to die after, but 
and Tariatar. This is definitely a T-Tar build, which is why I'm like, why do you have this? But maybe they're bronze on. Uh, that was not the play for my opponent. They definitely should not have went for sub. The trick, if, if I knew they were going for sub, I would have tricked there and then switched. Gengar comes out. We're going to go Jirachi because we can take some hits. As they go for hidden power, I'll U-turn here for one of two reasons. Um, if they are like Scarf or whatever, with hidden power ice. But, bro, that's like the Mon like, that you're not supposed to bring in on Jirachi. <laughs> and they are saying, like, why are they running this? Uh, we'll, we'll bring up my heat right now. We're just going to go for, just in case they're Shooker, we're just going to go for HP Grass. If they're Scarf, who cares? I have to click Earthquake and then I Thunderbolt Sweep. But yeah, HP Grass knocks them out. There is zero way I lose this game. <laughs> my Jirachi's at full, so Gengar can't even hacks me. Just going to allow them to knock me out here with Focus Blast. And they do what Focus Blast does best, which is missing. Yeah, at that point, they didn't win. Uh, let's say they were Choice Scarf, and they were locked into that. I just go... I mean, either if they weren't locked in, it doesn't matter. I just go Rotom and claim a kill with Shadow Ball, and then they have to go for Shadow Ball on their own. My Jirachi beats them with Iron Head plus Protect, respectively. Uh, I would Protect as well every other turn to get Sand. But... Uh, I think you live Mock Punch, but I want to know for sure. Like, I want to know just for later. Yeah, I'm just trying to find out. Nice, that did 14. There's no Iron Fist in, in this. All right, cool. So we got a win there. I'll pause the guys or bear back to the scariest Pokemon DP because leading off of this one is impossible. <laughs> Legitimately. Leads are always Stealth Rock, Earthquake, and Endeavor Ice Shard. Uh, but, like, again, beating this one is very difficult. I'm going to actually go hard into Latias and basically trick them. Um... In some situations, I'd be fast, and I could obviously click Iron Head here, but uh, let me not let me not go Lottie. I have no idea what lead Mammal Swine even means on this type of build. It's been so long. I don't think Mammal's a good lead, personally, because it doesn't beat much, but it happens to beat Jirachi. Nice. Um, just click Surf right there as they go for Protect, so I know that they're more of a... Uh, Defensive build, great. I didn't want to go hard Rosa just in case they were banded. Ice punch. We'll get up a spike here. A good shot on faster. But the spike is just to break Mammal Swine's Focus Sash as they end up bringing out Gengar. And uh, if they're not Life Orb, they, they can't kill me. But we'll go Jirachi as well as they go for Shadow Ball and get a Spadef Drop, which is very unfortunate. I'll get up Stealth Rock here, though. Either way. Can't really Iron Head them. Yeah, luckily for me, my opponent goes out to uh, goes out to Swamper there. So we get up hazards, which is important. Then what I'll do is I'll go Rotom, and I'll double out into just in case they scout. They might protect here, scouting for Will O Wisp or HP Grass. Oh, not HP Grass on Rotom, but exactly. Then we'll go for that Energy Ball now. Whether they go Gengar or not, I, I don't care. Uh, the energy ball damage on Gengar plus Stealth Rock means it dies to Thunderbolt later. Not that I'm clicking Thunderbolt versus Double Ground, but also if they're crazy and want to play a specific way, and they go something like Celebi, for instance, I'm in a good spot. Jirachi is fine. I'm still good versus Gengar because Calm Mind... This is the type of game where it looks like Calm Mind uh, Suicune wins, for sure. Especially with Hazard damage up. We bring out you, and I am going to get up T-Spike. Because I want to make sure that I win the game with Combine on my Mon. Yep, that does nothing. Perfect, we get a T-Spike. And a Power Fire. Even if they Thunder Wave here, I don't care. And all I gotta do is go for Fire Blast on my own. At this point, Heatran gets kill after kill after kill. It doesn't matter if it gets Thunder Waved. If I'm K... Well, it matters in that sense. But if I'm KOing... I'm gonna go for HP Grass just in case they go Swapper. But if I'm KOing this Pokemon in front of me, right? It's gonna. It's one of the few mons that can deal with my Suicune. And I'm glad if I actually break through. Nice. We do a million damage to Tyranitar. Which is awesome. And I think at this point I can afford to sack Rose, right? For uh, two Stone Edge. This may be Scarf. Jirachi won't die to Earthquake, even if they're not Scarf. I'm going to U-turn here. 
keep up offensive momentum. I land Fire Blast, Celebi dies, but it's, it's life, you know? And Heatran being alive means... Well, first off, Latias at 100%. Come on, dude. Latias at 100% means that it beats Gengar. Shadow Ball. Even Latias at this percentage beats... It's okay. It's not your fault. When I say come on, I'm not saying to you. But uh, Draco gets a kill. The biggest start right now is like a random bronze on. But Shadow Ball is primed to sweep very soon. Um, I don't know if they're, what their Gengar set is. I know it's not spec. So if it's Scarf, it cannot kill me from this percentage. Whereas I kill it with Draco back. I'm going to Draco here as well because like their pert does die too based on like the perch damage so we get rid of pert which is awesome obviously uh if gengar comes out i still think i'm out of range of shadow ball and whereas my draco is still doing enough to them huh 88 percent huh i'm only going this to see if they switch up moves because at this point fire blast gets a kill Hard Rotom. I'd rather not go Hard Rotom. Yeah. Out of that mod. Especially when we can bring out you. And just click this. Because again, Gengar KOs. Uh, this KOs Gengar with Hydro Pump. It KOs Mammal Swine. Uh, Celebi is the only thing that lives. They may go Gengar and Random Thunderbolt though, huh? Yeah, Celebi lives, unfortunately, after half. Uh, it'll be close, but I'm pretty sure it lives. So I don't want to get grass knotted. Hmm. If I wasn't paralyzed, I'd go for protect, but yeah, I can't afford to. So we'll go for, uh, we'll go for a shadow ball here. Explosion is so strong, but they're not life for Gengar, so I don't think Explosion into Ice Shark KOs me for Mammal Swine. Yeah, but we'll go for Shadow Ball here. Shadow Ball, I don't think KOs Celebi, but it definitely 2 it KOs Mammal Swine, so I'm okay with that too. Yeah, it for sure 2 it KOs Mammal Swine. Ice Shark doesn't do enough to me. They're not life or bleed, so. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so we get rid of that. Celebi still dies to Shadow Ball from the percentage of that. If they go Gengar, I can calm mind up with Celebi and then go for Ice Beam. Uh, calm mind up with Suicune and, and then knock them out with Celebi. So we sack Jirachi here. Scarf Gengar does not KO me, and after two turns of sand, it dies to Ice Beam at plus one, too. So we go Suicune and we click Calm Mind. And this should be game, unless they're faster than me, but even then, I have to get full paralyzed repeatedly because, yeah, Celebi definitely dies at that percentage. And I was hit by Sandstorm first, which means I am faster, which means I should win the game with Ice Beam twice. Perfect. Perfect. We got it. There's one. This is like a hella old school team. It looks old school. It's running Celebi and Mammal Swine. <laughs> well, Celebi specifically. And there's two. Even a Shadow Ball crit wouldn't kill me. And if Shadow Ball crit did kill me, they would have to be specced. But yeah, Shadow Ball crit doesn't kill me. Okay. Nice. Hey, all right. Well, all in all, it was definitely a fun one. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Definitely a nice to not only use my favorite Pokemon again, but use Life Orb Heatran and Specs Latias. Love those Pokemon a lot. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. And like I said, if you plan on getting anything from Best Buy, or, I mean, if you plan on picking up the games, might as well get them from Best Buy. You can support me additionally, if it's not too much of a problem for you. And uh, yeah, the team's on my website, Pokemon.com. I'll see you next time. Peace.